Geo Archon, this is the only chance you'll get all year. Guess it's a good thing Venti brought it up earlier. Otherwise, we definitely would have missed this year's Rite of Dissension. Well, Venti brought up the time, but Baimon knows nothing about where it is. <laughs> Look, we're already in Liyue, so let's go ask some of the locals. Oh, right. About the Geo Archon Morax. Did you know the Mora that we use is named after this god? But it's seen as impolite for people from outside Liyue to refer to the Geo Archon by that name. So we should refer to the Geo Archon by the name Rex Lapis, like the people of Liyue do. Dissension. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Isn't that today? Once a year, Rex Lapis bestows upon us his divine prediction, guiding us on how to run Liyue for the coming year. Last year it was the Yuhang of the Liyue Chixing that was given the honor of asking for the divine prediction. Ooh, Paimon knows this one! Mon's dad is to freedom as Liyue is to contracts. Liyue has a strong focus on business and trade. The Liyue Kising, the seven leaders of the seven enterprises of Liyue, hold true control over Liyue. That's what foreigners always say. But true control over Liyue will always be held by Rex Lapis. The Qixing is comprised of mere mortals. Rex Lapis is a god. Mondstadt's god is nowhere to be seen, whilst our god is forever with us. Stay in Liyue long enough and you'll see. Given that you just left your godless city, it's time you experienced what it's like to be in a city whose god has walked with it through all of history. Oh, are you also foreigners here for the Rite of Dissension? <sighs> to think I've lived in Liyue all these years and never come to see this before. <laughs> I guess it's like they say, locals never visit the tourist spots. <sighs> I wish you well on your travels. Liyue always welcomes you. You too wish to bear witness to the right of dissension? <laughs> Me too! We all do. As a businessman myself, how could I not take interest in Liyue's most important business trends? The 17 predictions given last year made more than a few ripples throughout the industry. Mm. What's more, there's been a rumor going around that the Tianxue herself, Ning Guang, has been acting secretly in the shadows. She wants the rocks created by GeoVision holders to be exempt from taxation. Wow, that's some super professional legal stuff, that is. 
<laughs> to be on the pulse of the predictions and the market is what makes this harbor what it is. Among the seven, Rex Lapis is the oldest deity. His keen sense of strategy is well trusted among his people. Understanding the predictions as soon as possible can make all the difference in making your fortune. F fortune So where can we see this Rite of Dissension anyway? Hmm... You're not at all close. Not to mention that if I gave you directions, as foreigners you'd get lost along the way. So better to head to Yujing Terrace, to the high ground. It's the highest place in the harbor. Sounds like the best place for trying to communicate with deities, no? Want a little Adepti luck too? <laughs> Seems you know a lot. Making a wish during this time is sure to get you the blessings of both the Adepti and Rex Lapis himself. I've already made my wish, so you can take this. Great! Thanks! Your first time in Liga? Actually, it's my first time to see the Rite of Dissension, too. Ah, look, that's Miss Ningguang of the Liu Shixing. Only those who have control in Liu can preside over the Rite of Dissension. Oh yeah, not sure if you knew, but most of the Adepti appear in the form of various beasts. I heard that when attending these kinds of formal occasions, Rex Lapis himself appears as a celestial cross between two of Liu's ancient mythical creatures. Ah, sorry, I shouldn't interrupt your wish. Please, take this. upon us.
Lapis have been killed. Seal the exits. What? What's going on? Did she just say Rex Lapis is... The Geo Archon is... dead? Oh no! The Millilith! Looks like they're nabbing suspects who got too close! Paimon's freaking out! The killer is amongst us! Wait! We got close! Are we suspects? Wait! Where are you going? Soldiers out there, too! Your identity! You may not be the killer, but we can't let them get you! But can we even get out of here safely? There's nowhere to run! Hey, girly, hold still. Stop! Stop! Come with me. Child. Child? What, so we're supposed to dote on you? <laughs> no, no, not at all. It's an alias of sorts. In Mondstadt, I don't suppose you came across a Senora by any chance. Senora? Child? <gasps> You're Fatui! One of the Harbingers! Oh, no. Don't worry. I'm not looking for a fight. Senora gave you quite the bad impression, huh? Pfft, that woman. Can't say I'm a fan either. Right. Let's forget all about her, shall we? I'm here to help you. Come now. Don't be like that. I'm not a bad guy. Oh, okay, perhaps I'm kind of a bad guy, but I'm not here to give you any trouble. Would it be too much to ask for you to keep the sword sheathed? <sighs> I thank you for your knightly nobility. I heard of your deeds in Mondstadt, so I couldn't help but notice you during the proceedings back there. And because I had my eye on you the whole time, I know it wasn't you. Someone else was clearly behind it. But, regrettably, given I'm a Fatui envoy from Snezhnaya, there's no way I'd be trusted after something of this magnitude. The ruling Chi Sing of Liyue has always been overly suspicious of us. Well, can you honestly blame them? <laughs> Guess I shouldn't try to deny that. Okay, sure. Maintaining a distance between strangers is probably a good idea. Either way, 
I'm already used to it at this stage. But right now, if you want to clear yourselves of any suspicion, you need to get yourselves to Northland Bank. Staying here isn't an option. As the old Liyue saying goes, the walls have ears. This bank was opened here in Liyue by Snezhnaya. Though everyone knows Liyue is the most enterprising in Tevat, Snezhnaya is not short of change either. Yeah, well, poorer nations don't seem the type to have diplomats that come around acting the way yours do towards the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> here, let me give you this. This is a... I'm not sure exactly. Sometimes all money can buy is things, and not a name for oneself. All I know is that it's a sigil. A sigil to keep the mighty and illuminated Adepti from bringing harm to you. Adepti? If you head north from the harbor, then west from Guayli Plains, you will eventually reach a stone forest known as Dweyun Karst. The people of Liyue believe it to be the abode of the Adepti. Legend or not, they believe it. As such, offerings to the Adepti are made at its borders. Nobody dares venture in. But I have no need for believing, not when I know for a fact that the Adepti truly exist. Hate to admit it, but your Fatui intel seems alright. But why would we go looking for Adepti anyway? <laughs> oh, my little friend. There are plenty of reasons mortals seek the blessings of Adepti. Money, health, love... But you... You will go for justice. Justice? The Chi Sing will already have dispatched the Millilith. They'll be seeking out the assassin from amongst the onlookers. But how could a mere mortal kill a god that can sweep aside entire armies? Rex Lapis never gave up his power as a god. This level of crude response is beyond what is called for. How suspicious. Or to hide something else. Hard to say. Even now, the Northland Bank wouldn't be able to hold the Millilith off for long, but the Adepti can clear you of any wrongdoing. Liyue was founded by the Geo Archon and the Adepti. Of course, it was built by force. Look for them, and be faster than the Chi Sing's messengers, so you may give your version of events first. If there is anyone that can help you in Liyue and now, it can only be the mighty and illuminated Adepti.
And who might we be? Those that dare enter Dreyun Karst. A sigil of permission. Many a season has passed since one was last in the presence of such an item. He before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Speak, Traveler. What business have you here? Actually... It's the Assassin! They dared to flee here to Juryun Karst. Sir, we've already stepped too far into Jurian Karst ourselves. We... Ah, there's no choice. Apprehending the Assassin is top priority. We must press on. Disturbing our borders. See them gone. One will not have interruption. Who goes there? Oh, witness the power. Take the target alive. Submit for judgment. Let the show begin. From whence you came. One with my blade. Take this. Rain outlines your fate. Submit for judgment. Take the target alive! Hey, Spirit Blade! Attack! One with your... Rested! Spirit Blade! Rain outlines your body and mind! Witness the power of... Submit for Judge Swift and Merciful! Yes. Attack! Uh, Swift and merciful! Take the target alive! Rain outlines your fate! Nice and spicy! Let the Let's show destroy it! Fairy uh, Flame! Uh, Who goes there? A touch of frost! Attack! Fairy uh, Flame! Attack! Uh, Rain outlines your fate! Attack! Beaten! Well... Preposterous. Preposterous! The Liyue Qixin. Utterly disappointing. How could someone possibly assassinate Rex Lapis during the Rite of Dissension? And then place suspicion upon the attendees? Hmm... Traveler, of the unjust accusations placed upon you, one has become aware. The mind knows its answer. Though one must consult with one's fellows, lest the mind be misguided. Go, take your sigil of permission. Carry with you a message. Mountain Shaper and Cloud Retainer can be found here. Only fate will decide if you shall find them. Only fate. There exists a conqueror of demons, a guardian Yaksha. Go to Wangshu Inn. There you shall seek him.
Have mercy, almighty oh Adeptus. I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. Spare our lives. Who are you? What's going on? We asked you first. Oh, you enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. It can only mean one thing. You must be Adepti Messengers, sent here to rescue me and my brother. What is he talking about? Oh, have mercy, mighty Messengers of the Illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here because our family is poor, and we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. It was stupid of us. All we wanted to do was to find enough treasure to sell and support our family. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly, the amber, it swallowed up my brother Li Dang. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti, and this was our punishment. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy right here on the spot. And now, that long last, two messengers come to my aid. What? We're not Adepti messengers. We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, no, no. You, you must be messengers. You have to be. I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. I beg you. Show me some Adepti mercy. Thanks be to the Adeptus of Mount Hulao and to their messengers. Never will we be so foolish again. Whoa, check you out! When you speak like that, you actually make a pretty convincing Adepti messenger. Paimo was gonna ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but... He seems pretty one-track mind about rescuing his brother right now. Hmm. So, he said that Li Deng got trapped in amber somewhere on Mount Hulao, and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's follow the path down from here, and make sure to be on the lookout for amber on the way. Oh no, my sword! You came! Yeah. <laughs> 
What happened? You, you rescued me. Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. He made it to the top. That means he should be okay. Oh, thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way. Thank you for rescuing my brother, O oh mighty messengers of the Illuminated Adepti. What? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. But regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers, so it's a whole different story. Anyway. We have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Yes, thank Boy, it'd be super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. Cause it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Oh. Who dares trespass on my mountain? Who? Foolish mortal. Come forth and receive your punishment. You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait! We can explain! Mooncarver! Trusted a mere mortal as his messenger? Is this a sigil of permission? One is surprised to find such things still exist in the mortal realm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Rex Lapis... assassinated? At the right of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay, in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. 
Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Paimon can! Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the Amber. Your nonsense knows no bounds. This Amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the Karst Crawler. The majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. After taking up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Oh, so the amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state, for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. <laughs> Ride on wind and cloud alike. attention that way. But what do Adepti even eat anyway? Paimon has no idea. Hmm. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can do is look around the area for any leftovers. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Um, do you think maybe it's at all possible that the Adepti might like to try some... Sticky honey roast? It's 
clean here. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Paima bets they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some raw meat. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. This chef was a super organized person. Offering to the Adepti? Hmm. Paimon can't quite imagine an offering made of flour and meat. Huh? Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Ew! And there's a huge footprint on it, too. But footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. <laughs> cooked here before. Do you think they were making an offering? Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some snapdragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Yup, it's a doozy. Paimon's not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. What would you call a dish that's made from snapdragon, lotus heads, and tofu?
Leave it to me. Hmm. One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus whom you seek. No one escapes by- One with my blade! But how? Spirit blade! Attack! Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll race you there. One is most impressed. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. You surmise correctly. This place did one self-build, as did one design the mechanisms within. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms! Do you really have this whole place to yourself? What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop or something? It's just like the stories say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things! One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction, and wish to find some peace and quiet. Find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? How can this be? Such a heinous crime! Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable! One shall have to verify the truth of the matter independently. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously gonna wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. It is as you say. We have protected Liyue Harbor under the leadership of Rex Lapis for 37 centuries. But in the face of this coup, 
by nefarious actors, exceptional measures must be taken. Yikes! Quick, you gotta think of something! She wants to squash Lila flat! And it doesn't seem like she's bluffing! Exactly what Paimon was gonna say! We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you! We were hoping you might help Leela out, not wipe Leela out. Or at least let's, you know, discuss it first. Can't hurt for you to get a second opinion. Contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the God of Contracts himself. The people of Leela seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of contracts, far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission, Rex Lapis infused these sigils with adeptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave at once, and... To the blind, everything may not be as it appears. A sigil of permission? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself, doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Too much contact with our world is breaking the rules. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of Adepti, nor can your blood carry this level of Adeptal energy. It's for your own good. Leave. Now. Wait a sec! We came here to... wants to give him an ugly nickname. But if you take off an Adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. Blech. <sighs> Guess we should go ask the boss lady of the inn about just how she manages to talk to Adepti.
ride on wind and cloud alike. Oh, you've already met Xiao. Not bad. Not often he's in a good enough mood to agree to see people. That's his good mood? Oh yes. The Adepti are very hard to come by. Many people go their whole lives praying to them, never once actually getting to see one. When the Geo Archon built Liyue, he borrowed power from the Adepti. But most of them only know how to protect Liyue by fighting. So for many millennia, it has instead been humans who have led Liyue. You really know a lot, huh, boss lady? <laughs> it's not boss lady, it's just boss. Anyway, seeing as you have the favor of the Adepti, things should be a lot easier. Well, if you want to know my opinion, if you keep Xiao in a good mood, things should be okay. Good mood? Can't really imagine what a good mood looks like for that vigilant Yaksha. <laughs> Will be interesting, won't it? Come to think of it, I've never seen him smile either. How about this? You go see the chef for a bowl of almond tofu and a plate of whatever it is you're best at making. Almond tofu is one of the few human foods Xiao likes. The other dish is up to you. Up to us, eh? Hmm, what do you think you're the best at cooking? Wow, never heard of that one. Paimon wants to try it. But if we're going to be cooking for an adeptus, perhaps a satisfying salad would be the safer choice. Opportunities to meet an Adeptus are rare and fleeting. Make the most of it. Can't you see I'm on a break, kid? Scram! Scram! Whoa! This chef guy's service is about as good as that Wagner guy's back in Mondstadt. I see. If it's for the boss, then guess I don't have a choice now, do I? But my heart's not really in it right now. Not enough to make a dessert as painstaking as almond tofu. And why is that? A fencer's hand must be steady. So too must the hand of a chef. But my hands... I'm... They're not steady. Because, uh... A, a traveler once told me that this inn is haunted. And then just now, just now, in the kitchen, I saw something. Something not right. This chef looks so intimidating, but speak of ghosts and he becomes weak. I keep thinking. Even Wang Shu Inn isn't safe. Uh, I can't keep a steady hand for something like almond tofu. All right, in the name of high-quality almond tofu, we need to go check this kitchen out. Doesn't seem to be anything. What? Uh, uh, 
You saw it too. There really is a ghost. How could I? Okay, so he's useless now. What do we do? Forget it. Let's just go see the boss lady again. <laughs> Scared of something so insignificant. Hard to believe he was once a notorious bandit. You don't seem that afraid of ghosts, boss lady. Gods and ghosts. I've seen it all before. Come to think of it, others don't seem to know there's an Adeptus here at the inn except for the boss lady. Shh. Say any more and you'll be divulging my little secret. Right. Best you two be off. Go see to it that that little ghost doesn't go scaring anybody else. Not that I'm ordering you around. It's like the Adeptus said. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of the Adepti. So as not to be harmed when dealing with the Adepti, you can start by practicing with that ghost. But how should we persuade the ghost? There is a calligraphy painting in the inn known as the Witness Sigil. It's been in circulation for over a thousand years. Go take a look at it. Once you have, look for a place outside where you can see the exact same witness sigil formation.
body and mind. What? You, you really got the ghost to promise to stop haunting the inn? <laughs> wow. You really are something. I am in your debt. Please, wait a moment. I'll make you the smoothest, silkiest bowl of almond tofu. Haha, <laughs> my hands are steadier than ever now that she's gone. Time to act. You two, again. Wait, don't go disappearing again! What's this? It's your favorite almond tofu, as well as this distant traveler's best dish, a satisfying salad. Quick, tell him everything before he finishes eating. Rex Lapis. How could this be? I... can't imagine it. Though times have changed, I've never imagined a Liyue without him. The ruling Qixing. Just what role have they played in this? <sighs> I will seek Mooncarver, Mountain Shaper, and Cloud Retainer. It is time they too made their decisions. Adepti do not turn on their responsibilities. I have my reasons to not want to be tainted by the mortal realm, but responsibilities are responsibilities. Our god is the god of contracts, after all. Wait! Paimon still has one last question! Hmm? That... dusky Ming... she's... When conquering demons, on occasion, you can come across spirits who have never hurt anyone yet are also not yet able to be moved on. So I asked the innkeeper and the boss if they could keep her here for a time. So really? Wang Xuin was looking after her. Really keeping a wide range of business going, huh? Ride on wind and cloud alike.
You finally returned. How was your journey to Jueyun Karst? I see. Huh. Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, Cloud Retainer, Conqueror of Demons. Some of these names have never come up in the intel the Fatui gets hold of. As a returning gift, I too have information for you. Regarding the Archon's passing, the Liu Qixing's response really has given me food for thought. They've announced that, as the true killer has not yet been found, they are not allowing anyone to pay their respects to the Exuvia. They've even gone so far as to try and cut off information, but with the right of dissension and all, even the Qixing isn't able to keep a lid on things. Exuvia? It's common knowledge in Liyue that Rex Lapis is also an Adeptus. The Geo Archon is also the god of contracts, and is also known as the Exuvia, prime of the Adepti. The mighty and illuminated Adepti of today all signed contracts to protect Liyue way back then. Guess that explains why they're all so focused on Liyue's well-being. Naturally, they both have the responsibility and the aptitude for the job. If the ruling Qixing became unable to perform their duty properly, the Adepti have the right to take corrective action. The Geo Archon's spirit has risen, so why would the Qixing hide his vessel? Truly suspicious. Oh, right! He's the whole reason we came here! If the Liyue Qixing has locked up Exuvia and won't let anyone near, then our quest to find the Seven is already over! Oh? You're trying to find the Seven? And just why might that be, pray tell? <laughs> nice answer. A knight that gets duped by the Fatui would really be no knight at all now, would they? But I can help you with that too, you know. Hmm, really? Give me some time. Time to find someone. Someone who can help you break through this stalemate. Huh, <laughs> truly fascinating. The harder they try to silence the situation, the greater the chaos that erupts. If you want to be around to see it all come crashing down, best you stay alive until we next meet, yes? Yue cuisine is disgusting.